فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير It is reported in Sunan Abi Dawood as well as Sunan Al-Tirmidhi and Imam Ahmad has made mention of it in his Musnad Hadith of Jabir radiyallahu anhu he says the wife of Sa'd ibn al-Rabi'a radiyallahu anhu came to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with a complaint. What was the complaint? O oh, messenger, I am the wife of Sa'd ibn al-Rabi'a radiyallahu anhu. As you know, he has been martyred in the battle of Uhud. He has left behind only two daughters. And their uncle, meaning the brother of Sa'd ibn al-Rabi'a, he claimed all their wealth. So they have nothing. We need money for them in order for them to get married. And I need money to look after them and so on. This wealth is needed. Here comes the brother. He claimed the wealth and he's gone. Now, my brothers and sisters, let's pause for a moment. Look at the sister or it's a Sahabiya, sister of ours in faith, much higher than us in rank, obviously. The wife of Sa'ad ibn al-Rabi'a radiallahu an. She's complaining. Similar complaints come to us. Today, where people say, or the sisters say, my brother has taken the bulk of the money. They're not giving it to me. These people haven't distributed the inheritance. 30 years have passed. May Allah forgive us. If you want your books to be sealed and closed properly, sort out the matters of inheritance, no matter what. May Allah forgive those who've passed away and may Allah forgive us too. We are not allowed to leave the wealth that belongs to others in our own hands. It doesn't belong to us and we say no we'll sort it out don't worry we're just brothers and sisters when do you know or how do you know when you are going to die how do you know what allah has in store for you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us learn a lesson so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said wait until allah dictates or decides and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verses the verses of inheritance starting from verse number 11 of Surah An-Nisa. Making mention very clearly that Allah has instructed you to distribute the inheritance in a certain way. You have no say how that inheritance will be distributed. It is Allah who has declared what will happen to it. Allah has given each person a leeway of up to one third to decide whom they would like to give for as long as the person they want to give is not an heir that has been declared by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These rules are very deep and I think we need to learn them. The rules and laws of inheritance affect every single one of us. So the Prophet sallallahu calls their uncle and says, give two thirds to these girls. Subhanallah. 66.6% two thirds should go to these girls and then you can deal with the rest. Subhanallah. This was the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.